had hit the pavement, but just, you know, just enough to give me a nice mouse there. Or that eye. You do have a bit. It, it was good. It was even more impressive. It was very, almost perfect. My mom fell walking one time. It, her, it broke through her skin, her bone cracked, and her finger and broke through. And she was stuck for a walk. And then, yeah. And she was, yeah. I've walked that dog a hundred times and yeah, never done anything like that. Yeah. We'll go ahead and call the meeting to order. And we'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Welcome to any of our guests. It's great to have young leaders come into the meeting. So Very young ones, too. Very, very young. Uh, we'll start with the roll call. Clark? Here. David? Here. Fish? Here. Jorgensen? Here. Call? Here. Parliament? Here. Mayor Inans? Here. Uh, go on to the first business is the approval of the agenda. Motion to approve. Second. have a motion and a second to approve the agenda. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next on the agenda is the, the uh, approval of the minutes from July. Can we do these all at once? Yep. Right. July 1, July 6th, and July 12th, the special meeting we had on budget. I'll move to approve. Second. Motion second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, in front of you are the, on pages 14 to 16, are the claims. If there's any questions there on anything. Motion to approve. We have a motion and a second to approve those. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, all, in f uh, I, all those in, not in favor. I don't think we had any motion carries. Sorry. Uh, consent calendar. Nothing. Nothing. No. Okay. Well, at this point in time, we are uh, into our public comments. Those people wishing to address the council may do so. Uh, we will limit that to a a. Uh, Five minute time frame. I'm not sure if we have anyone here tonight. We actually, we have a visitor. Is that do uh, you wish to address or is that for later? For later. Later. Okay. Good. Don't see anyone else. All right. Sounds good. Old business? None. None? Boy, we're moving right along. Yeah. Yeah, right. This could be a record. Jamie's got supper waiting, so. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Okay, uh, standing committee reports. I just drove by the golf course this morning and it looked pretty packed, so it must have been some kind of a tournament. Uh, I actually played today for the first time in about a month. I've got ice on my back right now, but it sure felt good. And the ice feels good too. Good. Anything, Andrew, that you have? Nope. Okay. Of course, look, looks great. Yeah, how's the uh, contractor? Are they they're not quite done yet, or I, have, I haven't been on it for a long time. Uh, about half of the road seated. Um, and growing back, I think Kelly's planning to push mow all that this week, so it's coming in nicely. I would assume this fall the rest will get done. I haven't, they haven't been back for, it's been a few weeks since I've seen them. So they still have some seating to do? And yes, yep. A little bit of dirt work and seating. They are at substantial completion, but we are waiting on willow stakes to be um, ordered in. Uh, what? We're still waiting on willow stakes. The first shipment was over half dead, so. Oh. Okay. What about the air conditioner situation? And uh, no improvement. Still waiting for still waiting. it to come in. So we're we're. I'm working with Prairie Sun to see if we can come up with a solution. We have a wedding this weekend, so uh, well, it's supposed to be about a hundred that day. Really, so. so. We're working on that. Other than that, uh, financials in your packet are in there, and they're extremely good for June and through for the first six months of the year. That's great. Very pleased with it. Andrew, I just want to say, I, I lived over on that side for since six years now. 
but I've never seen that golf course so busy. Like it was, I was another day. Was it last week? It was jam packed full again with cars. So kudos to you. Whatever you're doing, even Thank you. uh, compared to last year, I know it was COVID year. And it was a lot busier than I've seen. But this summer, I don't know what if you're holding it's, more tournaments or what, but you're rocking it. So I oh, have to say, good job. Yep. Yeah, we're about 2,500 rounds above last year at this point. That's so we're busy. Yeah. That's great. Good yeah. job. Yeah. Thank well you. Done. Uh, Parks and Rec. Anything to report there? No, nope, just the resignation of Seth Olson. Uh, we've anticipated that for a while. Seth has taken a job with the city of Brookings, unfortunately. <laughs> we've got to approve that? Hmm? You have to approve it? Yep. I'll make a motion to approve Second. Motion and second to approve the accepting the resignation of Seth Ols Olson. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Wish him well and thank him for the service that he did. Uh, my, under my understanding is that he's been a very valuable worker, so maybe, who knows, someday. Yeah, maybe. So, uh, Aspen Park Utility Project change, anything there? That uh, This is to replace the existing utilities that we're tying into with the new project. Okay. Um, this right. was approved at the last meeting, yeah. so this is just the change order for just under 32000 Okay. 32000 okay. Can we have a request? Second. Motion. And this is on the utility project? Yeah. Okay. Order. I'm change sorry. Order. Change order. We have a motion and a second to approve the change order. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Hometown days request to use Pioneer Park September 18th. Yep. The Optimist Club would like to move uh, hometown days from McCarty to Ask or Pioneer Park on September 18th from 9 to 5. They've got the list of activities outlined there. Motion to approve. Second. Motion and a second to approve the use of Pioneer Park. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion so carried. Gonna, I'm sorry. Are, are they going to have adequate parking down there for in Pioneer? They, you know, if they use, well, a lot of depends on the crowd. Um, there's the parking lot down below by the old soccer fields. There's the, par you know, the parking lot up top. Probably isn't going to be adequate, um, depending on the crowd they get. But I would think below, though, is below sufficient. Is they, that can plenty. take hopefully okay. 30, 40, 50 cars probably down below. Yeah, uh, that brings up another topic that I've been thinking about. Um, what's the baseball association got planned for to help with parking or shuttling or anything like that? Have you heard they any have, plans? They have 200 volunteers lined up to handle all that. Just, just, just to help with parking. Parking, they're going to shuttle. They're going to shuttle people that can't walk very well in golf carts. Yeah. There's a big meeting tomorrow night at seven for all the volunteers. So. Yeah. Um, did you hear any discussion about like shuttling from one of the churches or anything, or or aren't we going to be into that kind of traffic? I, you know. People it, come and go. Yeah. Cause, you know how so yeah. baseball, yeah. softball turn. Well, it's <laughs> also. 18-year-olds and not 10-year-olds? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So sure I think they've got a... They've, I, I think so. Friday They're night. pretty organized. Sounds like it. Yeah. Sounds like Friday night might be a challenge. I think Brandon and Harrisburg play. Yeah. That will yeah, be... Opening game, too, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And I think yeah. it's the second game Monday night, or Friday night. Yeah. And I think they're good chances. Yeah. Any of you that would like to, I am throwing out the first pitch at 10.55 a.m. Friday. 10.55 Friday morning? I have. I've been working hard. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. got it. Make sure there's ice. I can get it from here to the wall, I think. But we'll see. 10.55. Yeah, put but, that down, Jack. Yeah. But they are, uh, they are looking for volunteers in that, still, so if anybody's interested, there's a sign-up um, thing on, the web, on their website, Brandon Valley Baseball. Who's going to catch for you? <laughs> The ground. I, re I, I reckon. I, I recommend your daughter. The ground. Yeah, she's Should pretty we good. <laughs> well, just tell her spit her love. Yes, if you're looking for entertainment. Anyway, we'll move on <laughs> um, to public safety. Jamie. Uh, when the uh, two latest officers were approved by council for hire, unfortunately they were still working their previous jobs, weren't able to attend. 
So we wanted to bring them in so you can put a face with a name, meet them, ask them any questions you'd like. Uh, so if I can have them come up, we have Joseph Reagan and Kevin Crohn. Um, they've been with us for a couple weeks now. They moved to uh, Knights this week to start phase one of their field training. Uh, so we'll have them introduce themselves, say a few words, and then feel free to ask them any questions you'd like. Go ahead. Very good. Welcome. Speech time. Uh, I'm Kevin. Uh, it's good to be here. Uh, we had a couple weeks where we did our orientation, our training, so we got to be out in the city and see what what Brandon has to offer and the people, and it was fun to be able to be out there. So we're excited. Um, I know Joe and I both have been looking forward to get started, get on our shift, which starts this week. So you'll be seeing us a little bit more. But, yeah, it's good to be here, good to meet some of you guys. Uh, we've met a couple of you guys this week already, so it's nice to do that. But... Yeah, I guess uh, we're just excited, so thanks for the opportunity. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks, so, uh, where, are you, where are you from? Uh, so I grew up in Chicago area, um, mm -hmm. and then I moved to Iowa, and then moved to Sioux Falls. My wife is from South Dakota here, so we came closer to family. Sure. Uh, I worked at the jail before this, and then I did campus ministry before that. Mm -hmm. okay. Awesome. Welcome. Thank you. Well, I don't have too much else to offer. You pretty much covered everything I was about to say. But, yeah, I would just like to say I'm very grateful, you know, to be here. Uh, this is my dream job. I've always envisioned being a police officer ever since I was younger. And I wasn't sure where I was going to be, though. Um, but I feel, feel like I'm at home here in Brandon. I mean, coming from a bigger city, I'm from Kansas City also, by the way. Um, I did like the city life, but I kind of like being in a smaller town more you know, being able to develop more close and closer relationships with people. Um, I figured that being in a bigger department, I probably wouldn't get that opportunity because, you know, Sioux Falls probably has anywhere from 150 to 200 officers. So I don't think I'd be able to develop the connections and relationships with everybody and even the community too. So I'm very, very ecstatic to be here. I think you both. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you had a couple allies right here, right It's fine. I'm graduated now. It doesn't really <laughs> make that big of a difference to me now. Yeah, <laughs> it did. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I I ran track at USD, so that's part of the reason why I'm getting myself familiar here. Um, before then, I didn't even know South Dakota really existed. But <laughs> um, what'd you run? I was a short sprinter and long jumper. Cool. So I think you guys will find, you know, you got the best of both worlds here. It's small town life here in Brandon. And, you know, a lot, a lot of the, not the Chicago, Kansas City, but you got a lot of the amenities in Sioux Falls too. So oh. that's what makes uh, Brandon great. Okay. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hopefully we won't run into you in an official capacity. <laughs> 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 Ever. <laughs> Well, you've, uh, you've got a good leader, so yes, listen to him, and uh, you'll do well. Thanks for coming. We have the fire department report. I don't know if there's anything there that you have any questions about. The chief was here uh, one of our meetings our Thursday, and we had a few Fourth of July issues, but all in all, I think we survived it quite well. You're running a lot of numbers. Uh, moving on, we have a uh, wage adjustment for Anthony Lingen. Motion to approve. Second. Motion and a second to approve the wage adjustment. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We also have a wage adjustment for Zach Hagstrom. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. Second. And all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. We have next on the administrative side, we have a wage adjustment for Tammy Jansma. So <laughs> Don't get locked. Silence. Silence. <laughs> they, all, they all got locked jaw all of a sudden. <laughs> we do have a motion to approve and a second. And a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion gratefully approved. We are grateful, Tammy. I think what I've learned is you have a very tough job, and I, I see all the pieces going on in your world, and I'm going, oh, glad I wasn't that smart. 
<laughs> Tammy, I just I just got to say something. I'm sorry. Um, at times we we're, we're like this a little bit. Okay, but I see the work that you do. You're you're a good engineer. Okay. Thank you. And uh, I just I've been around it, these engineers many many times for years. So I ask a lot of questions. Do not feel offended when I ask questions. Sometimes they're a little tougher because uh, you do you do do a, a great job. Thanks. And I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Jack. Very nice. Uh, we talked about the uh, joint zoning district of Minnehaha County discussion. I, I uh, think we learned a lot. We brought it up with the planning and zoning after their meeting. And I would say it met with questions. Uh, yep, uh, PNZ discussed it at their meeting Thursday night. Um, they, they had a motion of support to, to proceed to see where it goes. Um, I did talk with Justin Weiland, the city administrator in Del Rapids. They have a joint zoning district there. Um, nothing that we didn't talk about Thursday at, at uh, PNZ. County staff does the work, um, organizes the meetings, et cetera. They administer the ordinance. Um, he didn't seem to think there was any major issues uh, the, the zoning code and the comp plan was done before Justin got there, so he didn't have much input on, on that process. But as far as implementation of the joint, joint zoning district it's, itself, uh, I didn't have any major concerns other than coordinating meetings from time to time. That was about and it. And I think that was the main concern I heard from planning and zoning is this will add a lot of meetings. Mm -hmm. And whether or not that's... I mean, I think there's obviously some communication and some awareness that we certainly would gain from it. Uh, and I think any time you can de develop a, a mutual relationship, that certainly you're going to handle issues better. So, Patrick from Seacock was at the PNZ meeting, so he filled us in on Hartford's efforts. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of stalled at this point in time. They, they apparently met a lot of opposition from county residents uh, for it since they don't vote for representation on the, in the city. Um, so that's kind of in limbo right at the moment. Yeah. Ryan, Del Rapp is, is just a mile, isn't it? I didn't ask him for how far. Okay. But yeah, I, I wouldn't see us going much more than, more than I'm just two at the most, I would think. Yeah. I don't, once you get out that far. Yeah, we don't need it far no. than that. No. I know Justin Wild quite well. Uh, had a lot of dealings with them over the years. Um, so, where are they uh, looking at their district? Is it is it mostly south down 115? I don't, I didn't ask him size. So ask. I would I would think that they just drew a circle around the city. They were pretty. It's Jack. They were pretty gung ho about it early on. It sounded, and then I don't know. It sort of faded in Hartford. In Hartford. Hmm? No. That was Hartford. Yeah, I was talking about Wyland's uh, Dells. Yeah. Because um, to me, what makes sense up there, and I don't know where their city limits are, but uh, uh, they're kind of. Quite well, it would be, be that south first couple miles, I suppose. So yeah. Right outside of town. And I can ask him. Um, but otherwise, I figured if the council wants to proceed with it, I'll get a hold of Scott Anderson um, and see, A, if they're interested in it, uh, and then what we need to do to proceed. I guess that's where I would be at is what are the council, council's feelings? Is this something we want to pursue uh, or is this something we want to wait and see on? Um, when you talk to the gentleman in Del Rapids, did he indicate how many meetings they did a year? Just a couple. A two, couple. three meetings a year. Um, they really only had one disagreement between the two commissions. It was on a variance request. The city was in favor of it. The county was opposed. So the variants die. So basically, you got to have that. that. Yeah, both boards have to approve. I definitely support it. I think it makes sense. It's just logical to have input geographically when it's that close to us, and as we grow, you know, not a tiny little town. Um, I guess I haven't heard any any opposition. So what would the next step be? Do you just need direction? Yeah, just uh, a motion from the council to, to authorize me to approach the county. 
to start the process. A, first see if the county's interested. They could say, no, we're not interested. Mm -hmm. um, I'll see where it goes. Right there. Oh, can I say one thing, sir? Oh, of course. Um, I did call and talk to Scott today just because I was curious about the whole thing, you know, since I'm kind of thought of this. Um, and I just wanted more information. And I do think, because it would be nice to, like you said, the zoning based on our growth plan, too, like what's going out there. And one thing uh, Scott did bring up, which I'm assuming we would do, is um, hold some of those, like, town hall meetings for the county residents, you know, once we get to that point and getting their input is that, what he suggested. Is that typically what we do? And That's all part of the preliminary or the process. comprehensive land use plan. Okay. You hold work sessions or, or open houses for residents to, to get their input, get their voices heard. Same thing with the zoning code. Okay. You develop that based upon your comprehensive land use plan. Okay. And then, uh, you know, there's public hearings on that as well. So, yeah, there, there would be input from residents, both in and out of the city. Yeah. Well, I'll second Jack's motion. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve. Uh, continuing on the planning and zoning uh, county uh, zoning would be where we're at with that. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. So, Brian, I guess it's in your court yep. now. To, I'll reach out to Scott. Yep. Sounds Won't good. be this week. Next week. Uh, we had our first budget work session. Oop, nope. Uh, we have last an appointment Monday, to the Planning and Zoning one. Commission member. And what time is that? Back up one there. Back up one. Oh, did I go? I am sorry. I missed. Appoint the, the new Planning and Zoning Commission member, Thomas Nichols, and Mr. Nichols is here. Ah, that's what you're doing here, and that's who you are. Good. <laughs> well, welcome. And three very three very qualified, uh, interested citizens in the, in the open seat. Um, the mayor and Mr. Jorgensen reviewed those applications, and the recommendation is to appoint uh, Mr. Nichols. Mr. Nichols, tell us who you are. Yeah, what, what brought you to Brandon? It looks like you're pretty new, new to town. New resident. Well, I am, yes. He just pushed that button. There you go. Uh, my wife's twin sister lives here and her husband. Uh, we moved from California, where it's kind of crazy right now. <laughs> uh, we like it here. We've been here a few months now, and we like it, and I want to be part of it through the Planning and Zoning Commission. Uh, I've had a lot of responsibility in my life, uh, being a master electrician, a contractor, uh, being in the Army. Just everywhere I've gone, I've been very responsible. And uh, this is just another part of that uh, responsibility. Well, first of all, welcome to the city. Thank you. And we're uh, very appreciative of your willingness to serve. I think you have some unique skills that Mr. Jorgensen, who heads the planning and zoning, will, will use quite often. And uh, it's great to have people step up and be willing to serve. Yeah. If there's anything on the uh, resume, I don't know if you have it in front of you. but No, I read through it. And yeah. uh, you've got lots of really, really strong qualities and Thank th you. things that will lend themselves to uh, good communication. So. so with that, I would entertain a motion to approve. The appointment. Yes. Tim approves the appointment. Second. I'll second. And Dave, second. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, Thank you. Opposed? Motion carries. Welcome to the Welcome. commission. Welcome. Just a quick thank you to the other couple of applicants too. I think that's really neat that we, we had three strong applicants it's not that, always the case as i understand no, it. That, that was i mean honestly all you were the head of the class of a very strong class so that was <laughs> pretty cool yeah, that's great. i always wanted to be number one in the class and never quite got there <laughs> okay welcome thomas now uh budget workshop 5 30 on monday 5 30 We'll start working on the expenditure side. Well, I like the other side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Revenue is always easy. Oh, okay. Uh, streets, street report is there. Just a second. Yes. Just a second. Uh, are you anticipating another one then? Like, uh, yep. I would anticipate uh, every off Monday through so, August. So that would be August through August, you think? Yeah. 
Because it has Possibly. to be approved before September. Yeah, we have to have the well. We have to we have to certify the levy by the end of September okay. to the county. But we'll get the budget done before then. Yeah. So the first meeting in September historically has been when we have to approve the budget and levy. Okay. So we'll get that done. So but that, I, I think it'll go faster because mm -hmm. we've got that CIP list now. So that'll yep. be the 23rd of the ninth. Yep. Oh, we have to have it done before Monday night football starts, so let's yes. get this done. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Not necessarily preseason, but regular season, definitely. Regular season. Yeah. Good. All right, uh, the street report is there. I don't know if there's any questions there. Looks like they've been continued to be busy. And we have a change order on the Rushmore project. Um, for the Rushmore project, if you remember, our first change order actually decreased the contract amount by 12000 This one will increase it back up about 5000 And this is just for the curb stop extensions because some of those water services that are there now are more than seven feet deep. Motion and a second to approve. Change order number two. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We have Rushmore Project pay application number three. And then just a heads up, the project is about a month behind. We are working with the contractor to come up with some plans on how they can catch up. So hopefully we have some good weather and um, they seem to be working pretty late at night as well. I've heard a few complaints about that, but at the same time, they're thankful that they're getting the work done too. So. Why are they behind? Yeah. Um, some of it was the lift station. Um, we were still working on some of those purchase agreements for the land, so they couldn't start with that right away. They have a lot of that completed now. Um, they have a crew that uh, some of them left, and then they hired some new um, employees, and there was a learning curve there, so that first crew was pretty slow. Um, they did bring in a second crew. That's going a lot faster now. So. Yeah. It is. Uh, but we'll get there. How are the residents handling it? Actually, I go to Bible study there, and there's five or six guys that live on that street, and they honestly, they've, they've thought whoever the foreman is, they're very impressed with him, and he's very communicative, and so I, they're okay. I mean, they're, when it rains, they're not happy. No. They, they like to call the mayor then. <laughs> but they're they're actually doing quite well. Cool. Uh, so motion, 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 second, 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 motion, and a second to approve the pay application number three. All in favor, say aye. aye. Opposed. Motion carries. Water and sewer water tower project. Gotta find that page here. Okay. So, uh, this, this is pay up number three. They pretty much have the foundation done out at the water tower site. Um, if you've noticed at the golf course, they started digging for foundation work for the ABB building. And then they're going to start doing some of the utility work along Chestnut and Redwood, too. And. Vote to approve the. Okay. Second. Motion and second to approve the uh, water tower. Project pay application number three. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, Tammy, real quick, what percent are they saying they're complete? You know? Yeah. Is that how you pay these out? Or uh, what do you do? No. Um, we don't really look at the percent. I mean, I could figure out the percent of what's paid versus yeah, how okay. much we owe yet, but so no. So how do you de determine? Or, or there, are these like a monthly submittal? These are monthly submittals. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay, moving on to new business, Brian. No new business. Um, just a heads up, though, that slurry seal is going to start this week. So once we have a schedule from the contractor, hopefully tomorrow we'll get the news out with Facebook and everything else. We need a motion to Yes, we do for personnel and potential litigation. Okay. Motion and second to go into executive session. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you all for attending.
Thank you. Yeah, we'll do personnel.